Hello, my name is Juliana and I am a journalist. I really like traveling through the interior of Brazil in search of stories and curiosities. It was on one of these trips that I had my strangest and most frightening encounter. I heard about a mysterious wanderer called Porinha who roamed the cities of SP, so I went to look for information about this man. One day I was driving on a deserted road on my way to a neighboring town following clues about him when I saw a strange figure on the side of the road, yes, it was Porinha carrying his old book in his hands. At first, I was curious and decided to approach to talk to him. Porinha had a deep, penetrating gaze that seemed to read my soul. He smiled sympathetically and offered me a leaf from his book, inviting me to follow him on his way. I found that strange, but I accepted hesitantly. I knew I had nothing to lose. As we walked, I began to feel a strong, cold wind that seemed to embrace me like a shadow. The landscape around me started to get darker and more gloomy, and I realized that I was entering a sinister place. It was then that I realized that we were no longer on the road. I was in a sinister place, a city with a dark and frightening air. The houses were destroyed, the streets were dark, and the people were pale and sad. I didn't understand what was going on and started to feel panic. Dust held me firmly by the arm and tried to calm me down by saying that there was nothing to be afraid of. Desperate and determined to escape, I ran through the dark and winding streets of the city. The icy wind cut my face, and I could hear dust laughing behind me. The feeling of fear and panic was immense. After a lot of running, I finally realized that everything was back to normal and found my car where I had left it. Breathing in relief, I got out of there as quickly as possible. Since then, I never heard from Porinha again, but her words and the fear I felt in those moments stayed with me forever. To the next.